the nail in the Colin Kaepernick coffin for anybody that's watching. I want to put the nail in the Colin Kaepernick coffin. I want to end this once and for all. And I want to do it quickly, but I want to know what you guys think too. Um, Because everybody keeps saying he's been blacklisted and he was, you know, uh, he, 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 he couldn't get a job because he protested. When we all know here that any owner who fucking signed Colin Kaepernick would have been the toast of the fucking town, right? Hell yeah. Fucking team that would have signed him. And the crazy, you know, <laughs> the crazy thing is, yo, no bullshit. The cra- actually, my brother, the crazy thing is that's even my favorite play on Madden in real life. That's be one of my favorite quarterbacks. And then my brother used to tell me, like, yo, this dude is starting to suck. And I was like, I was so lost in the sauce. I was like, nah, he's still good. And then that's when he started doing all that protest and shit. And then that's where I started seeing all this. like, yo, this dude suck, man. Fuck that shit, man. This dude's trash. But he man. didn't Fuck protest. That. He protested as the backup. He wasn't the starter. And the reason I'm talking about it because now he says he wants to come back and play for the Jets and take Aaron Rodgers' place. Aaron Rodgers <laughs> I, I think they, I think they should let him back. Right, it'd be entertaining. It'd be hilarious. He want, he want back he, on the, he, he want, he want back on the slave plantation though. Then right. not, not letting him back though. He's not being held out of the league for anything. He was offered with the remember he was offered with the Baltimore Ravens and his girl posted that meme of yeah Ravens was his, yeah yeah I, I think the, Seattle was, Seattle uh, even Seattle Denver teams and 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 the th- the fact that those analysts get on TV and say that. He's being blacklisted when they know about three teams that offer them contracts. It's just crazy how they right. keep. But anyway, anyway, that, that's beside the point. Look, all I know, all I know, all I know is that the Bears need a quarterback. Maybe we should pick him up. Yeah, I mean, look, man. I mean, Justin Fields. Might be better than Colin Kaepernick, and that's sad. Hell yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. Here's man. my thing. Yeah. Here's my thing. Everybody knows that the coach at San Francisco liked Colin Kaepernick, right? If you're letting him play, right, with this record, right, you're letting him play with that record. You like that guy, so it wasn't no no animus between <laughs> coach, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's only 32 head coaching jobs in the league, right? This is right before he got benched, right? There's only 32 head coaching jobs in the league. That coach right there, whose coach was coaching his team at this time, it wasn't Harbaugh. It was um the guy who came after Harbaugh. Um, the guy who was coaching his team at this time, he's got to think about his job, right? Why can't he? Why why are people? Why is the story not man? Because this coach got fired after this year. Why isn't the story damn? Like what about the coach? Because apparently, no one's thinking about the coach. If your team is three and sixteen, your starting quarterback's three and sixteen over this la- over the last two seasons. You have to put somebody else in the game. Yeah, because I'm fighting your ass next, nigga. Fuck that. Is there anybody in the chat who would have, knowing that there's only 32 head coaching jobs in the fucking whole fucking world, and you got one of them, and you're 3 and 16 (laughs) over the last two seasons with this guy? Who here, press one, if you would have continued to let Colin Kaepernick start? Press two if you would have put another quarterback in the game. Because this is what led to him being benched, and then the next week he's he's kneeling for police brutality because he got benched. He was not kneeling while he was going 3-16. and 16. He kneeled after he got benched the first game he got bent he was kneeling on the sidelines for police brutality 
And it's time that people finally be honest about this shit, man. Because, you know, ESPN and all those motherfuckers, Ryan Clark and all those jackasses, Shannon Sharp on fucking ESPN and, and sports TV, they're not going to tell you this. He got bitched because he was 3-16 and 16 as a starter. And the fucking head coach has the right to try to keep his fucking job. Hey, uh, you know what? I think it's. I think that somebody should pick him up. I, I don't. I, I don't think it's a good idea. But I'm like one of those people that's like, pick, pick him up. Yeah, yeah. Give him. Get, get him. Just like, like, let's get our Black Lives Matter shit going, and let him just suck so bad, and let let everybody have something to say after that. Like, I, this is annoying as shit, man. Just they pick somebody. Pick him up. Coaches. They gonna blame the coaches. If Colin Kaepernick comes back and he sucks, the coach ain't put him in the right position. Uh, the receiver, the offensive line, it's going to be everybody else fault for him. You already know that. But my thing is like this, like no one ever talks about this, yo. That out of 35 quarterbacks that qualified, had enough snaps to qualify for these rankings, he was 34th in win-loss percentage. He was 32nd in completion percentage. He was 31st in total QBR. And that fucking head coach that benched him had a right to try to save his fucking job, even though it was too late because he got fired at the end of the year. <laughs> he wrote shit. So it's like, yo, now the other coaches around the league who don't want to pick this up, they're racist. But no one's talking about, yo. Wait a second, man. Not only did you fucking suck, but when I benched you, you started kneeling against police brutality and all the cameras were on my backup quarterback um, before every game. And at the end of the game, everybody was talking to my backup quarterback about fucking police brutality and shit. So, of course, the other coaches are not going to want to bring you in. Because you suck. And you bringing <laughs> bullshit with you. Real I'm shit. telling you, I promise you right now. If he Real was shit. just bringing the BLM bullshit. If he was just bringing the BLM bullshit. They would have been lining up to sign him. The virtue signal. Facts. Like, I'm Not a facts. good owner. Facts. I'm a great owner. I'm a good white man. Facts. I'll sign you. It's the bullshit and he sucks to the high heavens. <laughs> That's the problem. He sucked. And you can't, listen, 32nd completion percentage. That's wild. 34th in win-loss. <laughs> That's <laughs> wild. <laughs> Who lost more games than him? Who was the guy that was 35th? Who's the guy that lost more games to him over these last two years? Oh, that's wild. He's a 34. That's wild. Jesus Christ. Give him some credit, dog. He's not 35th, right? Right. I want to know who's, the, who's 35th. Yo, that is crazy. It's just insane, man. Like, I just wanted to put a bow on that, man. And, um, so that we can just end this, man, about him going to the Jets because he he wrote this long ass fucking cringy ass fucking letter and shit today, man. He's a fucking salute to Joe, man. Shout out to you, Joe, man. Salute to you, man. He wrote this cringy ass letter, man. Listen to this fucking weak ass letter, man. Am I, am, am I the only one that wants to see him start on Monday Night Football? Is it I'm, I'm alone? <laughs> that I shit would be entertaining. See, I want to see just to, to see him like be all some trash and shit. Get on the Jets and get it like Aaron Rodgers too. That would be <laughs> Oh, that would be <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you imagine Golly. if Max him and his and 